Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales, UK. Don't forget, I upload every Monday at 7.30 at Greenwich Mean Time. That's London time if you're abroad. So without further ado, let's have a look at the type of painting we're going to be painting today. And I'm thinking of maybe trees, a bit of, a, bit of a, of a lake, something like that. Let's see what we can come up with. Let's have a look it's at the palette. To learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Thank you very much for watching the introduction. So you can see I'm I'm just using up little bits of paint. Um, this last couple of lessons I've just been using up my old bits of paint I've got lying around. And why not? Some of it is a little bit gone past sell-by date. But <laughs> how long do acrylics last? I don't know. I, I think if if you look after them um, and, and you... Um, you you make sure that the tubes are, are sealed properly and things like that then you know there, there, there should be a good shelf life on these things i don't really know i haven't really looked into this i do do know that sometimes the paint can separate but that's not a problem um and i've never known paint to go hard in the tubes but i might be wrong so i just got a couple of different i just got a blue there um, i'm not too sure what blue that is i think it's something like a cobalt blue or something like that um, I got a couple of different greens. I've added a little bit of black to that one, a little bit more yellow to that one. And um, I've just mixed it up a little bit there. Um, I've got some um, yellow, medium yellow. I've got some, um, I think that is a, um, it's a bit like a Naples yellow. I've um, got some black, some white. I've got some, um, I think that's burnt, um, it's raw umber. That's raw umber, that one. That's raw umber. I just make this up as I go along. <laughs> <laughs> so what I thought I'd do today, I thought I'm going to put a little bit of a glow in the sky. So I'm going to use a little bit of this, just going to use a little bit of this um, Naples yellow, whatever yellow you've got. I'm just going to put a bit of yellow just on the, on the sky area there like that. Now if I don't want to put blue to this because it's going to go green. So what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm just gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of white. I just want a bit of glow in there as well. You know, I just let's just glow that up a bit like this. I want to glow in there a bit more yellow ochre. It's not yellow ochre. It's um, what did I say it was? I don't know. I can't remember. Doesn't matter. There we go. Didn't get much sleep last night. <laughs> Does it show? <laughs> right, let's try that off with a hairdryer. Maybe. Naples yellow. That's what it was. <laughs> Naples yellow. Dear me, I don't know. I didn't get much sleep last night. I've had a couple of restless nights, actually. Do you get restless nights? I'm sure you do. But here we are. Never drink coffee after half past six. That's what I don't do anyway. Never drink coffee after half past six. I did that the other day actually, and um, oh, I couldn't get to sleep at all. It was terrible, absolutely terrible. And I love my coffee. So I'm just going to put a bit of blue in the sky. I've added a little bit of white to it. There we go. Um, I'm working on a 16 by 12 canvas panel today. And as you know, I don't like to paint the whole canvas i like a little bit of canvas showing through i quite like that I, I i think this i think that's quite nice i think it adds to a to that type of um paint effect that i quite like so i just added a little bit more white i don't mind if there's a little bit of canvas showing we don't stand too much on ceremony here in the studio today There's bleeding that in there like that. Let's get a little bit of darker colour. Just get a little bit of this blue up the top. Just tapping the brush in. And when you're learning to paint, especially with acrylics, I suggested you just play. Just put some paint on a canvas first. Doesn't matter. You don't have to paint anything. Just just but try practicing. Just just putting blocks of colour and blending colours together and. And you get to know the paint. You need to know and understand 
how acrylics work and it's important that we we practice that I think that I'm losing my yellow because I talk too much but we'll put a bit of that back in in a second I'm just gonna put it a bit lighter there like that. a bit more white and that's what happens sometimes when you, you you talk too much and you your mind drifts and goes off the subject so just get a little bit of of that yellow back in the sky like that. I just want that glow that's all it doesn't have to be 100 percent i'm going to be putting something else down there anyway but i just want that little maybe glow in the sky that you get sometimes maybe the sun was just i don't know rising or something maybe i don't know is it i don't know i must wash my brush so i've started doing um some tip videos now on a Friday so there's be, there'll be another one coming out this week for you to watch I'm not too sure what that is going to be yet because I normally film that directly after I've painted this lesson um, so that's going to be my my theme now so after I painted a lesson and I finish videoing it I'm just going to decide to do a quick video ready for Friday then and that way then at least you can pick up some some tips from the old Welshman. <laughs> I try to make my paintings as easy as I can um, for people to follow along. And I know um, when you start uh, out on the, the journey of acrylics, it can be quite a daunting prospect to say the least especially because you find that sometimes the acrylics will dry faster than you want them to now the little secret there is really not to add too much water to them because the more water you add to acrylic paint the more it tends to dry out believe it or not because it's um it evaporates very quickly i don't know why but it does so let's get some this blue that's quite a thick blue that one a little bit of this raw amber i'm going to add some white to that there you go just plonking in some white and another question i get asked is um how do you know how much paint to put on your palette it's basically just use what you think you need and you always think you need more than you've got or you're going to use so i suggest you half what you think you're going to use and you can always add to it later on because once it's out of the tube it's a little bit more difficult to put it back in the tube and then we can we can tend to waste paint i waste a lot of paint so yeah that's what i suggest you do so i'm just putting a, a bit of a rolling hill just in the background there like that There you go, a little bit of this yellow. Just to highlight that. A little bit there like that. Doosh. Get a bit more burnt umber. I just want a little bit more of a shadow colour. And just blend that in like that. A bit of a shadow there. There you go. 
Yeah, so we've got a little bit of a, maybe a mountain or a, a little hill or something like that down. I don't know. I don't know. Right, let me wash that brush again. And I wash my brush using just ordinary baby soap and tap water. And I rinse my brush out in that section there. Now we need to get some white and some blue again. Get a line straight across there like that. And as we come closer, we're just going to darken that up a bit. Let's get a bit of white. In there. Put some of this nice blue. I'm running out of blue. I'm just dragging the brush across. I'm running out of blue. I need to put some more blue on my palette, I think. We'll change the blue. I'm gonna see if I can find another blue in a minute and see if I can darken that up. In fact, let me see if I can find another blue. Blue de blue blue. I got what have I got? I got um there we are, I got Tukum Tap blue. That's a pink, that's a blue I make myself. Um let's put a bit of that on there. Um this is a lovely this is a lovely blue, um quite a rich blue. I quite like this blue. There we go. We just want to put some shadow in. It's called cum taff. It's Welsh. It's a Welsh word. Cum taff. It's a made-up word. It's not, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not in the Welsh language, I don't think. I think cum is it. Cum is in the Welsh, Welsh language and taff is, but cum taff isn't. I don't think it is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll get a bit of brown and a bit of this blue. Put a bit of shadow into this water area. blue over there. But I think we have a little bit of white over there, I think. And just play. And what I want you to do today is just use this method at the moment just to get paint onto the canvas and find out if you use a little bit more moisture, what happens? How is it spread? How is your paint drying? When it's in its raw state, so you haven't put any, um, you haven't put any moisture to it. And how does it work if you do add a little bit of moisture to it? Just a, just a bit of moisture on the brush, just moisture on the brush, no paint, just moisture on the brush, and rub your paint brush over the surface of the paint and see the effects that you get in from that. I'm going to get some nice dark green color just down the bottom of this in fact we'll add a little bit of black to it as well nice dark green area coming in like that remember what I said before you've got to have dark sometimes to to show light just continuing to just build up in a, a 
dark section. Maybe, maybe just a little bit more of a lighter green now. So I'm going into that. I think that's like a hooker's green. I'm going putting that on quite thickly there as well. So it's a bit more green coming in there. Just spreading it in, just having fun, just blocking out some colour. If you've got any paint on the brush, it doesn't matter. There we are, just spread it in, whap it in there. <laughs> Don't stress. This is a painting, you must enjoy it, you must enjoy the painting process. There we go. So we've got a, we got a nice background going on. We've got a nice background going on. I'm thinking maybe I should just change my brush. So I'm just going to wash my brush. I'm just going to check my, make sure my, all my cameras are recording. Because I do have problems sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they go ping and I don't realise they've gone ping. And I go and edit the video and I think, oh no, have I got to go out there and do that again? <laughs> And that wouldn't be the first time. I wouldn't be the first time. So I want to get some nice dark colour now. So again, some black and some of this dark green colour. There we are. Maybe a little bit of this raw amber as well. I want to get a. I want to get a line coming in. Maybe there. Don't care if it's. Don't have to be smooth. Quite nice and rough. Nice and rough. Nice and rough. And now I'm just going to get some, using this brush, just to get some shapes, maybe of a tree or something. So I'm putting the shadow in now. Just lifting the brush off a little bit. I just want to get this. This is a nice big bunch of trees. Nice big bunch of trees here, just like this. Easy, isn't it? Easy once you practice. If you practice, 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 and just just play with these different techniques, and it's amazing sometimes what a little bit of paint on a brush, just being tapped on a canvas, can accomplish. There we go. Get a bit of that. down there just shadow is in the water shadow is in the water there we go it's got a bit of light coming around there. There's light coming through that gap there and shining on the water lock. So you, you make this up in your mind. This is your world. You can be as creative as you want to be. Now, let's get some green. This green. Now, instead of lightening this green with white, I'm just going to lighten it a little bit with some yellow. So don't use white. This white can be quite harsh so use the if it's a green it's blue and yellow so you want to use yellow to lighten it and then we just on top of that we're just going to put some lighter colors you don't want to kill all that black but just a little bit of just a little bit of lighter green here and there just Making that up. 
as we go along. Can't make a mistake, don't worry, just relax. And don't overwork anything. You should never overwork something. Once you think, yeah, that, that's okay, I can live with that, then live with it. And I see things, oh, that's coming off. I see things different to you because I'm sitting diesel, so I'm sitting, sit, I should be sitting in front, but I'm not, I'm sitting to the side. And it can be quite difficult sometimes, my perspective can be off by just doing that. So again, just adding a little bit more yellow to that green, taking the excess off. And then again, I'm going back in, just with a slightly lighter color. Here and there, and there and here. Just a lift, a little bit of highlight out of these trees. I mean, notice I didn't do much with the sky today. I just threw the paint on. I didn't have to worry about clouds and stuff like that. And when you're learning, you need to try and just concentrate on getting an effect you want. You can always repaint something and um, make it um, an improvement. And you must, you, you've got to learn sometimes to um, just be easy and free and just allow your creativity to come forward. Right, so I'm using some of this lighter green now. So I just want to sparkle this up a bit more. I want to lighten this right up now. I don't want it I don't want it too bright because I got I got things in front of this as well. Maybe it's a little bit of light just showing through here and there just like that i hope you can see and look it's i i'm i got the light on me at the moment now i'm going to use a little bit of white now i'm going to use a little bit of white just to sparkle that up a touch just i just want to just a few flecks of maybe the light's coming through there catching that one there's a little bit of light going to be catching just there and there like that maybe a little bit coming through there like that definitely a bit on the edge there there you go you get the idea you get the idea i'm not going to do no more um, now I'm going to get myself a short flat and get some burnt umber. I didn't wash that brush very well, did I? Dear me. I'm fumbling again in my tree. Get a bit of burnt umber. Burnt umber and black. Gonna put a little bit of of a bank or something there. So we got a rivery, not a rivery, a lakey thing. <laughs> a lake, it's a lakey thing. <laughs> All I'm going to do for the moment, I'm just going to get a, I'm just going to put a water line, very thin water line. Just across, this is not a very good brush. There we are. 
it's not a very good brush. Some of my brushes need cleaning. I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a video of how to clean brushes when they go hard because some of these brushes have, I haven't been cleaning them very well, and I've got a potter there that need cleaning, and I really do need to to to, to sort that out. I think. So, um, oh, I do have fun. I, I I love just painting and just making it up as I go along because none of this that I do believe it or not you might think that I script everything and I know exactly what I'm going to be talking about but trust me I really don't I can't even find the brush I'm looking for I really don't script anything this is all it's all off the cuff <laughs> and um, I surprise myself sometimes <laughs> I really do right let's get some Flick some marks in, just like that. Maybe just a little bit of light, just catching. There we are. Just rub it in with your finger. One of your be best paintbrushes is your finger. It really is. <laughs> now, I think what I should do is dry that off. I'm going to dry that off, and I'm going to dry it off really well. So this may take me a good five minutes, because I want to make sure it's really, 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 really dry. So let's try. <laughs> now, I might have a bit of difficulty there, because that's quite thick. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that um, this will work. As you know, one of my favourite things to do is put mist on things. And I love using this particular, it's called a mist in white. And my camera's just moved, there we go. Oops, there we are camera. It's a mist in white. It's a very, very transparent white. You can buy this at my website, www.clive5art.co.uk, or you can buy it in any shop really uh, any arts and crafts shop you want a zinc mixing white basically that's what this is so i'm just thinning that down with some of my medium mix because that helps with the underbinding of paint because if you put too much water with with acrylic paint it can underbind it it means it's it's not going to be stable and and it can it, it can just peel and flake so but with my medium mix that tends to stop that happening so i'm just going to put a mist Mist in rolling in. This could be an early morning. Mist coming up off the water. There we go. Bit of mist. Bit of mist. Sometimes you get that wonderful mist just rising off water first thing in the morning. I'm going to put a little bit of thicker paint just like that. Not too much, but just enough to make it look very misty and eerie. So I can imagine, because I used to fish, I used to go fishing. I used to love fishing. I used to put my fish back, by the way. I, I never I never have kept fish to eat or anything like that. It was more of a sport than anything. And, you know, it, c it can be deemed quite cruel by catching fish and just letting them go. But I don't fish now. I don't fish now. But I've seen mist rising on the water like this. In an early morning. 
There we go. I hope you can see that. I hope you can. I hope you can see that. So I'm going to use I'm going to use this brush. This is another little foliage brush that I use, and um, and I thought maybe maybe just use some dark green for now. And I'm just going to flick up some grass, just like this. quite a, a long rough looking bit of grass there not cov not killing all the dark that we put in because as you remember me saying we sometimes we need to show the light in order to show I had some dark in order to show light well, sometimes you need light to show dark as well. So we can put light there and it's going to show the dark off. So it depends which way you want to look at it. <laughs> Oops. Wrong one. Wrong colour. It was a bit bright. Well, we'll put some bright colour in there then. There we go. That's going to be nice and bright now. Go with the flow. Happy accidents and all that. There we go. Quite easy. Quite easy to just play. Make little clumps of grass. Then. Let's get some of this lovely green. Let's bring a bit of that in as well now. In areas. We could get, we could get um, a fan brush and get a longer grass. There you are. Or you could spend hours, literally, and I do mean that, spend hours. It's just a fan brush that I've just trimmed Get some of these length here. Blades of grass as well coming in. I'm not worried about that corner because I've been sticking my big finger on there to stick it back on the on the board. So I'm not worried. This is not going to win any awards. It's just basically loads of grass. There we are. I hope you can see that there. Um, anyway, okay. Now, now we need to get a brush, get some burned umber. A bit of burned umber and a bit of black. And just go. Just like that. 
I'm gonna put another one in. Just give us one a bit of a bend, there we go. <laughs> there we are. Maybe we could just see about one just coming off the edge there and then. That's bending over that way. There we are. Let's just to finish that edge off a bit. We get our long thin script lining brush and let's get some white into that mix. I'll show you why now in a minute. Put a branch in there like this. Put in another branch there. You want to practice doing these. Oops. You want to practice doing these. some darker ones as well yeah, we get the idea I'm not going to do too many you can um, do as many as you want to do Making it look tree like anyway. Doing your best to do it tree like. Let's get a little bit of white paint now. Because what we're going to do now is going to turn these into birch trees. So. We need to. a little bit of love, care and attention into it. <laughs> so we've got a few got a few trees there. Um let's get a bit of this darker colour in. Oops, let's get a bit of darker colour and just let's put a bit of shadow down. There in a minute. I got a little bit of white on my brush, doesn't matter. I'll sort that out in a second. I just want a bit of light, a bit of shadow there, like that. Okay, so now we just can have a bit of fun. Now we can have fun. What I suggest you do is just get any old brush. You could use a, a, a detailed brush like this. And you can just plop in some blobs of paint like this. 
or you can get another fan brush maybe and just put a few leaf shapes in I'm just going to use a fan brush because it's just quicker because I just want to do this very quickly now you make it up you have fun enjoy your process of painting some light color because this is in front of that over there And just have fun, have fun, enjoy, have fun. De -de 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 -de. Let's get a bit of more blue. I'm just gonna, I wanna darken up. I wanna darken this area up a bit, yeah. Looks a bit better. Looks a bit better. I got brushes everywhere this morning. I got brushes everywhere. So we will see, just playing around, trying to put something in front of something. You've got to be careful in composition, really. Um, but as I said, all I want to do is show you different methods. How you go about it is entirely up to you. Um, I just enjoy painting away the stress of everyday life. And that's all I tend to do is just... I've got no set plan and ever have and sometimes my paintings work sometimes they don't work it, it it all depends on the mood you're in and um where you go in with things i just just love just 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 to paint and have fun and play with color i always have and i think it's important that sometimes it's about the journey it's like life really because we can we learn as we as we as we as we grow as we as we get older and we, we go into different stages in our life because you do go through different stages in your life as you get older every t every 10 years they reckon that um, things change for us and we learn and we don't make the same mistakes or we try not to make the same mistakes um, as we did when we were younger. We are quite bold when we were younger. And it's a bit like painting. You learn sometimes by just doing and and relaxing. Just enjoying life. That's what it's all about really. And these techniques can be taken on to, to different um, 
paintings that you're using. Always add a few. Spots of colour, maybe there's just a few little flowers and something. You know, I love, I love, this is reminiscent of another painting that I did. And I, ju I just love to paint scenes like this no, for no reason. I most probably just paint over this now. Um, there's no reason for me to, to keep this painting in any way, shape or form. But it's just a form of relaxation for me. And that's all I want to do is bring you into the studio and show you that painting is not just about selling artwork and being the best artist you can be and being everything's got to be perfect because life isn't perfect it's just a way of allowing yourself to drift relax letting the mind be creative and that's that's the thing so if you wanted it you could do anything on you you could you could turn this into absolutely anything you want it doesn't matter if you if you think to yourself, well, I'm not going to sell this, or I'm not doing it for any particular reason except I'm just sitting down and painting and having fun. Well, do whatever you want to do it, on there. Do whatever you want. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. And that's all I try to promote on my channel is painting to relax, painting to enjoy, painting just because you can paint. If you wanted to go and do a pet portrait or a people portrait or you, you want to do something as a commission and you want to spend hours and hours and hours and hours and weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and months on painting something you can but sometimes you just need to sit in half and spot some paint on a canvas and basically see what you can come up with <laughs> and that's all i try to do that's all i ever try to do is that so thank you very much for joining me today. I know this is not the best painting I've done, but it is the most one of the most fun paintings and one, one of the most relaxing paintings I've done for quite a while. And um, it's, thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you, don't forget, Friday for a quick tip. Bye.